Hey guys, so today I'll just show you vacuumed parathas. All right, so these are parathas. My mom made them for me and then sent it to me via courier. So whenever I am hungry and I'm not in the mood to cook a lot, so what what I do is just cook some vegetable. And along with that, I just take out one of these parathas. I just put them on the pan. I just heat it for a minute or two, and it, it's ready completely. So these are vacuumed. These are homemade. I have not bought them from outside, so they're completely healthy. And these are vacuum patatas. You can ask uh, your parents also to cook uh, some for you, and then keep sending you regularly while you're doing your masters, so that you can concentrate on your studies and not on the cooking part. So it's just so easy. Just put them on the pan for a minute or two. They're completely heated, and then ready to eat. It's just like a regular ready to eat packet. It's just that it's from home, so it's healthy. You just have to keep them in the freezer so that they remain fresh. They're completely vacuumed, so they last for like around four to five months without any problems. And if you actually open the packet to take out three or four parathas out of them, then keep them stored in the refrigerator, and they will last for another ten to fifteen days. So they're pretty handy when you're busy or the semester's taking a toll on you. You can always uh, try cook them. It's it's so easy that uh, you won't have to uh, go through a lot of trouble. So these are really really good, and they're uh, amazing life savers for me, as they save a lot of time. So after I take them out, they look something like this, and I just need to put them on the pan and just heat them for some time, and they'll be completely ready for me to eat. Immediate consumption. Now uh, I'm from Indore, so I got these uh, these parathas packed uh, and vacuumed from uh, a place in Indore. So we took cooked parathas over there, and they just. Uh, Had this machine which vacuums these parathas properly. So I just went to the shop. I asked them to vacuum them for me, and they just vacuumed it. And then they gave these packets. Like it, this packet has around twenty uh, parathas, twenty pieces, and one packet cost me like seventy rupees or one dollar for the packing. And then the courier cost was different, obviously. So. Uh, You can get them from any shop that you might know that is in your city, which vacuums the parathas. So it's really, really helpful, really, really healthy. It's home food. It's always better preferred uh, more than outside food, right? So try to find a shop which vacuums the parathas. I don't think it'll be a lot of hassle. Obviously, I can't tell you which will be the place in your particular city because I don't know where you live, and I don't have a lot of idea about the shops in other cities. I can tell you about Indore though. So. What you can do is uh, try to find a shop uh, which vacuums these parathas and get these parathas vacuumed for you. They will save your life a lot of times. All right, they will help you a lot. So after the parathas, the vacuumed parathas comes dehydrated food. I don't even remember how many times this guy has literally saved my life during the semester. So this is just dehydrated food. You just put them in uh, with some water and just heat them for a couple of minutes. And again, this is like ready to eat food. Just put put some water, heat it. It'll be ready for your consumption. So this is some dehydrated poha right here. Then I also had some dehydrated uh, upma over here, which I used to make for breakfast and all. And uh, these things are kind of tough to make at home. So if you don't want to. I also got these small packets from the shop. Uh, these are for ready to eat poha packets, and I got this for like hundred rupees for a two hundred gram packet. So these are also pretty good. They're life savers during the semester. Right now, if you're in your country, you will underestimate the power of food. But when you come here, you will start wanting each and every ounce of it because uh, cooking here can be a pain, a lot of pain. All right, it's. a hassle that you don't want to get involved in a lot especially when the semester is at a high and you burn it with a lot of course work so this is some of the food items that i always get from my home and uh, this is some homemade pickle right here so i get these packets too from india so i i just really like the taste so i want these things <laughs> And here's a clip of the food that I got from India. I generally get a courier from India in like two or three months, which has a lot of things like Maggi, chips packets. Because again, chips packets cost like two point five dollars here for the one single packet, and I can get it for just next to nothing from India. So it's pretty cheap over there. 
right? I'll just show you the clip of the courier that I got recently and I, then we'll discuss the price of that courier and how much I paid for the courier. So, uh, got this package, contains around 16.5 kgs of just food. I got this from home so that I could spend less time on cooking and more time studying, so yeah, this is how it looks like. I'm just gonna open it and I'm gonna show you the contents later on. Yeah, so after opening the box, we have these things right here. As you can see, there are like 50 packets of chips. Chips are very expensive here, like $2.5 each packet so it becomes really cheap, cheap if you get all the things from India then this is dehydrated food you just add water to it microwave it you have it ready and these are some sweets I wanted some extra tiffin boxes so they're here too and then I have some spices again which I needed and uh, we have over here vacuumed parathas so yeah we'll see each and everything in detail I'll show you guys, alright? Uh, some 20 to 30 packets of Maggi right here. Ah, uh, this whole pack is of uh, full of Maggi. These are some roasted cashews and some spice spices right here. These are my favorite snacks, which my mom made for me. <laughs> yeah, some tiffin boxes right there. Some sweets in them. And some more snacks here. So yeah, oh, that'll be nice. Then there are millions of chips packets right here. Ah, it's gonna be a party. Hey, now that you've seen what the courier looks like, let's talk about the cost that I paid to get them over here to the US. So, a 5 kg packet would cost you around something like 4200 rupees, that is around $60. And then a 10 kg packet would cost you 6,000 rupees that is around $80 and anything more than that any weight more than that per kg would cost you 600 per kg it's like that so I got 16.5 kgs worth of food so it cost me around 9,000 rupees that is around $120 so now that you know a proper estimate of how much it costs to get the stuff to the US so you can also order the stuff and try to pay the prices according to what I've told you. It's fine if it's a little bit more or a little bit less. Try to find courier places in your city and get these things couriered to you. Tell your parents about it so that even they know about this and show them this video. They will get to know all these things then they will try to, you know, send you regular couriers and your life will be a lot easier. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel and thank you. Thank you so much.